And among that crowd today, a couple serving a church mission in England. Stephen Carroll Bush actually saw King Charles as he arrived at Buckingham Palace. New specialist Ashley Moser spoke with them today and says the mood in the country, Ashley, is unlike anything they've experienced. Yeah, Dini, that's saying a lot because they've actually been in England in the past for numerous royal events. Carol was there for two royal weddings, for royal births, for the Queen's Jubilees, joyous events. Uh, but now the couple is witnessing the people they're serving in a mourning period as the passing of Her Majesty is throughout the land. Oh, they are. They're, they're sad. They really love their queen. Missionaries Steve and Carol Bush say after living in London and getting to know its people for the last four months, it's evident those they serve are now in mourning. We had Institute last night and we they prayed for the royal family and for their what they're going through. They say since the news broke Thursday, the streets of London have been filled with tributes to Her Majesty. The English do pomp and circumstance better than anyone. It is just truly amazing what they do, the amount of flags and banners and and places that they publish. They say certain buildings where the queen would shop are also paying tribute in a unique way. They blackened all their windows and said, in honor of the queen, we will not have a billboards until after her funeral. Yeah. The couple witnessing history firsthand today, snapping this picture of now King Charles greeting the crowds at Buckingham Palace. It was amazing. And it was a time of great patriotism. Yeah. Everybody's rallying around excited. Uh, this is a time for the country to come together. They say to witness the transition of a nation and to celebrate the Queen's life and legacy is something they'll never forget. To be here to actually be with the people of London to celebrate her. Yeah. We are we we are happy. Now they say the city has also postponed planned events as the country mourns and put into action their 10-day funeral plan which is called Operation London Bridge. And King Charles will officially be pronounced in a ceremony tomorrow. Dini Steve and Carol Bush are just so honored to be there on the ground to witness history. Yeah, it's a moment of time in in history in a lifetime like you said. Thanks right. Ashley.